So we realized a couple of weeks and months ago that another game on Steam um, was called Barista Simulator. Uh, even though when we started the project a couple of years ago, we um, made research and there was no other game uh, called Barista Simulator. Um, unfortunately, this one came on Steam before us. And so we had to find another name. And so we brainstormed and asked the community on, on our Discord um, a bunch of ideas that we liked and uh, we surveyed. And we ended up with Barista Rise and Grind. So this is the um, logo pass then. We started brainstorming different fonts and different logos. We didn't want to rebrand the whole thing. We wanted to keep Barista something. We wanted to keep the logo. And uh, we also spent the time and the last few weeks to make the Steam page. Um, takes a lot of effort to do so. Um, all of that is kind of placeholder because we don't have a lot of screenshots right now but if you have time and you like the game so far feel free to go and wishlist that's going to help us a lot to make the uh, steam page as i said we required a lot of work uh, including um, some banners and capsules and whatnot for steam so i went into unity and i placed the uh, bean character and I lit it with um, Unity rendering and I took some screenshots and then I went into Photoshop and something that we really really disliked was the uh, the eyes so I kind of drew um, new eyes and then we realized that it would be nice to have those eyes in the game so that's something that we want to to address eventually and so you can see me there just tweaking Making it appealing for the eyes, that's the main like uh, marketing capsule. On the production side, a couple of weeks um, that have passed, we um, started by working on the milk. Uh, milk is a very important feature in a cafe. And so here I am modeling a milk carton. This is the result in Unity. Not too satisfied with the colors, but this is always work in progress. Um, so this is the model in Unity with colliders and rigid bodies and whatnot. And then time for the code. I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but this is very simple. It's like an interactable that other objects we have. And with this interactable, there's two actions you can take with it. You can take it in your hands or you can fill other stuff with milk. And another thing is the milk um, is a liquid and a liquid in the game um, will change temperature. Um, and so you can see here, there is a little temperature meter on the side, which indicates that it's cool. Um, but because it is now in, in um, the room, at room temperature, it's going to um, lower its temperature uh, or increase the temperature, I mean. Uh, so here I am accelerating time to be able to preview that faster. And you can see it changed to yellow and the milk is now warm. And if you do that in the game and you don't manage your milk properly, then you're going to spoil it. And so the answer, the solution for it is to have a fridge and milk is going to be stored in the fridge and you're going to have to handle and manage that. Um, so here's the modeling of the fridge and important in uh, Unity with the glass material. Again, the colors, we're not too sure, um, but uh, this is again work in progress. As for the code uh, on the fridge, uh, the important part to remember here is that the fridge has different slots and so you're going to be able to have smaller fridge, bigger fridges uh, in the game and um, other than that, you can store item in the fridge or just open the fridge and, and when you open the fridge, there's a little UI pop up um, and that's going to appear on screen. Um, and I made a little animation in, in between here for the door. And whenever, whatever is in the fridge is gonna be uh, changing temperature to be cooler. Um, so um, that's how you're gonna store your, your milk. And whatever you put in the fridge is gonna try to get cooler if it has a uh, liquid. So as an example of that, you can see uh, here, I'm gonna accelerate the time again, but you can see the milk is now um, cool. I'm gonna make it warm by uh, speeding up time. And you can see now it's it's now warm, but if I go and place it in the fridge now, 
you can see it going back down into a cooler temperature. Uh, and again, as I said, if you interact with the fridge, you're gonna get that UI that's gonna pop up with the amount of slots uh, that are in the fridge. Let me just interact with it. And uh, you're gonna be able to see their icons and pick up the proper item that you want right into your hands and then store it back if you want. And that's pretty much it for the fridge. As usual, thank you guys for watching. I know it's a fast-paced vlog, but I think it's better. And now that this team page is up, um, we have the Discord that you can join. All the links are below. And obviously, wishlist uh, the game if you think that's going to be something you would like to play eventually. That's going to help us a lot measure the interest level for uh, Barista Rise and Grind. See you guys in the next vlog.